think this might be the place, V. Got Three some cables. Memory. Gotta be his hideout. Got a clock. An hour to midnight. Looks like Peter Pan turned this farm into a goddamn final bastion. Must have been an auto shop or something here at some point. Fuck me. He treats the kidnapped boys like cattle. Machine controls an injection system for stimulants, hormones, something. <sighs> Look, another one. Don't see Randy anywhere. Fire department search stamp right here. City South. Perfect. The terminal controls the pens. Gotta be another deck somewhere for the mines and turrets. Signage on the farm model points to Petrochem. Hey, the Illuminated Towers. Promoting the Us Cracks album that came out then. Colors changed every hour. I think that might be it. So, where do we sit now, exactly? We know Harris still lives near an old school that's now underwater. You can see the NC skyline and the Us Cracks towers from the farm. It's a few miles out. Farm's located near a landfill. We know that, too. Shipping code on the game Randy got from Harris traces out to the Badlands. Those towers promoting the Us Cracks album. Colors change regularly, once an hour. So we know the time. Eleven at night. Right. And that puts the farm east of the city. Southeast, actually. Stamp on the NCFD certificate was from the southern region. Farm models a petrochem design, so that eliminates any others. Which narrows it down to Edgewood Farm. That's gotta be our place. So... we've got it. Just hope we didn't fuck it up. Come on, we gotta go.
It's gotta work. Done more in two days than the NCPD accomplished in weeks. Not hard to do, but yeah, you're right. Thanks, V. For everything. We'll find him, River. If I'd only known sooner how he felt. What was eating at him? This isn't your fault. I'm his uncle, V. And I wasn't there for him. Fuck! something river this is the farm we got it i know let's get to the barn quick
Disabling the defense system, then haul ass to the barn. up tight. You'd find another way. River! Come here, quick! Too late for this one. He's here! Ready! He's hanging in there! We made it! V, shut down the machine! Can't unlink Randy otherwise! Randy! 1052. I repeat, I've got a 1052 at a farm south of the city. 
Yes, send the fucking squad! Yeah, relaying coordinates now. No, several, at least. Do it quick, damn it! Oh, and watch for automated defenses on the site. They're substantial. Okay, all disconnected. Check the others. Could still be alive. Right. Been dead a few days already. Here to help. You're a bit dehydrated, but you're gonna be fine. Hey, help me with Randy. Live. Whoa, whoa, easy there, easy now. Hey, you're all right now. Hey, help me with Randy. Did it, River? Yep. We sure did. But I'm not about to leave it like this. The horror that bastard inflicted. Can't let it go. What do you want to do? Zero him? Exactly. Squeeze the life out of him with my bare hands. Sick fuck has to die. No, River. Want that fucker's blood on my hands, too. Appreciate your dedication, V. But this is between me and Harris. Gonna take him out in my own way. Amidst all this confusion. Just remember, say the word. I'm there. You can count on me. Need a little time to myself now. But I'll remember. Hey, we're ready for evac. Are you riding along or not? Really, V. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without you. Don't mention it. And holler if you change your mind. Or if you're just in the mood to holler.
here in camp. V, you're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. You really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Being unusually quiet. What's up? I see no point in arguing with Saul. We can't win. So, giving up? Of course not. We'll take the Basilisk ourselves, then wait for Saul to admit we were right. Either that, or to boot us out of the family. I felt the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection! Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this Basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess, the whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull, Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay. So you do want to go behind Saul's back, and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob, also on board. Thought you and Saul agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life, yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. Remember a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do, yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope, different that. Rescue mission, someone from the family. Now, you're out to plain trick him. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. Why well, Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations, like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. You guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. When are you set to move? Could cross paths somewhere. Got a surplus of parts we can spare. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. 
Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn short, sweet, and pertinent. No. Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know. But you guys... A few years back? Nobody would have given corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the Biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. The Raffins, what about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, uh... Never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie, I'll remember that. We have arrived. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the Basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how, exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. The tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. 
You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. boys. I've always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off in a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Carol! What are we looking for? On the car! What car? On the car! On the car! Would you help me look? Sure thing. Not here. Hmm. <laughs> well, well, well. Got something. Good job. nothing. talk about I know this may sound foolish because I asked you to help me but why are you doing this please note the arrival of the next freight train is delayed because it's important to you but is that all I sorry that sounded worse than I intended listen V I I'm sorry I'm not very good at this, speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cut this up. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know, but I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet, with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish, and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend.
Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. We could still check. Get your ass down a minute, honey. Now breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. You worried about Saul? Quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another one, Silver. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. Jackie. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. It's grown kind of cold out here. Not true. But this is nice. Catch some shut eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh dear, that means there's a major leak.
Good night, V. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. Speed. They're going faster than we thought. I don't know if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. Wait, no coming in fine. Take out that couple. Plan, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You'd better move. Okay, let's go. Ready to roll.
lost the Militech channel. So it's finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. Perfect timing, if you ask me. begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be! Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight! And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care.
Who would have thought? Oh! 